this is a message for Mr. Greg Jenkins, Mr. Gregory Jenkins. Mr. Greg Jenkins of the U.S. Postal Service in Tyler, Texas, on Broadway in the Azalea District. This message is for racist bigot, Mr. Greg Jenkins, Mr. Gregory Jenkins of the United States Postal Service in Tyler on Broadway in Azalea. So on December the 27th, I was dropping off at the Tyler Post Office on Broadway in the Azalea District where I encountered a situation with Mr. Gregory Jenkins. Mr. Gregory Jenkins based on my research and my understanding of what's going on, has had issues over and over and over again with black drivers who deliver Amazon products to the post office. Not only black drivers, but also black employees that work there at the postal service. Now, I... I released the video on the 20 the 28th that shows the latter end of what Mr. Gregory Jenkins behavior was. The first part was not recorded by me. It was not recorded by me because I was in utter shock that I was experiencing what I was experiencing. Now I'm not the one you know, I've never been the one to to, to be on a, a race situation. You know, I hate the conversation that disgusts me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, however, I do understand that there is hatred in the world and people have different reasons as to why they are hateful. So, so I get it, right? So I'm encountering this situation and I'm in utter shock and complete disarray that I'm even experiencing a situation where a gentleman who, who, I think he's got to be in his mid-60s. Mr. Greg Jenkins, you in your mid-60s, huh? You know what I'm saying? Maybe you older than that, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why you all on me, holding me back, wrestling with my pallet jack and all these different type of things. Like, as a leader, you're completely out of line. Your behavior is completely out of line and completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. That this is that this is what you was doing. Ultimately, what you was doing was attempting to provoke me into a situation of putting my hands on you. Now, here's the thing. I want to be completely transparent, right? This is what I mean. I really want to paint the picture for the situation and, and how you almost, you know what I'm saying, like literally like ruin my life, Mr. Greg Jenkins. See. Because of the way that you behaved and because of you being in my personal space and literally on me, which is, if I'm not mistaken, a form of assault, I had every right to defend myself, Mr. Greg Jenkins. I had every right to defend myself. What does that mean? That means putting my hands on you to get you out of my way, whether that be through pushing you or striking you or whatever the case may be, right? But see, here is the situation. If I defend myself and I push you or I'll off and strike you or something to the point of well, I've hurt you, right? You laying on the ground, right? Whether you don't hit your head on something on the way down or whether I'm in self-defense and I'm enraged because of what I'm experiencing with you that I beat you to a bloody pole, right? I had every right within my, I, have, I would have had every right to do so, right? But here's the kicker. The kicker is, I do that. Tyler Police Department is called and they come up there and they see an elderly man on the ground, non-responsive, and a young black male with, 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 beat up, with beat up hands and blood on me and all type of crazy stuff, right? What you think they gonna do? I think you know what they gonna do, Mr. Greg Jenkins. What you think they're gonna do? 
Not to mention my 13 year old son was in my truck. He was with me. When I got back in the truck, the first thing he said was, Pops, are you okay? What's going on? What's wrong? Now imagine me and you getting into an altercation, Mr. Greg Jenkins, and my 13 year old son jumps out the truck and comes back there and he sees it. What do you think he's going to do? He going to defend his father and he going to help his father, Mr. Greg Jenkins. So not only potentially would I have been in jail for manslaughter, but also my son could have been in some type of potential custody as a result of it. Now, here are two black men in jail for potentially beating your ass, Mr. Greg Jenkins. Guess what? I pay all my bills at my house. I take care of my family. So what you're doing is you taking a black man out of the household that's trying to take care of his family, that has a business, multiple businesses, that help multiple people. This is what you're doing. And the whole time I'm incarcerated trying to plead my case that all I was doing was defending myself. Mr. Jenkins, now my household, Lord knows what happens to my household at this particular point. What bills don't get paid. As a result, what things are lost. And, 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 and repossessed as a result of your behavior, not my behavior. See, I didn't handle the situation like that, Mr. Greg Jenkins. See, the way I handled the situation was I never responded to any snarling comment that you made. All the things that you did to provoke me to wrath, Mr. Greg Jenkins, I did not react to it. Now, I'm a special case. I can't expect everybody else to be that way. And they shouldn't have to, because if somebody would turn around and defend themselves and cause hurt and detriment to you, Mr. Greg Jenkins, they would have had every right to do so. But because there was no cameras in there, because of the situation, you being elderly, a white man, I'm a young black male, what you think they going to do in Tyler, Texas? You know what they was going to do, Mr. Greg Jenkins. That was your whole plan, right? And see, this ain't the first time. That I've had a situation. See, about 12 months prior, I pulled up one night about 1030. Guess what? I come through the gate. I start unloading my truck and you come out. You say, hey, I've been here 10 hours. Like, you need to put that back on your truck. I'm finna go. See, I didn't know no better. See, what I should have did was just not said anything to you and went ahead and continued to unload that truck. Right? You say in the video, if you would have put your hands on me, I wouldn't have got up. I'm trying to understand how you are even a leader. I'm trying to figure out how you've been having all these issues, but you become a leader within this company at this post office, right? See, you, you would have not only caused detriment to me, Mr. Greg Jenkins, but you would have caused detriment to my household, my entire household, and everybody that depends on me. That's what you was about to do, Mr. Greg Jenkins. You was about to ruin my life. I don't care about, oh, well, if you would have went through that, Joseph, and you'd have made it out, you'd have been blessed as a result. I don't want the blessing. I don't care about the blessing. The blessing ain't worth going through all the type of situations that I could have went through as a result of your behavior, Mr. Greg Jenkins. Guess what? I'm trying to figure out why I have not received a phone call from the U.S. Postal Service in regards to an apology for your behaviors. No one's taking accountability and ownership for this situation. But I've talked to plenty of enough people within these two post offices, uh, Mr. Greg Jenkins, to know exactly what type of person you are. To know exactly what type of person I'm dealing with. And it's completely unacceptable. It's not acceptable that we're dealing with acts of racism because guess what? They say, hey, let's end racism. Guess what? Racism will never end. You cannot end racism. What you're saying is every single person in the world now has to stop hating someone because of their race. That's not going to happen in a realistic world. But this is how this is how you this is how you slow down racism by holding people accountable for their actions. See, for every action there is a consequence. See, there was a consequence for your action of racism. For your action of racism, there's a consequence. See, I've worked in corporate America before. You should, and I don't know if this behavior, because get what? Ain't nobody gonna call me 
that followed up with me regarding this situation. You should have been placed on a corrective action submitted for termination review. You either gonna be on the final or you're gonna be turned. And if people would have saw what you did and how you did in that post office, you'd be fired right now, Mr. Greg Jenkins. You really should not have your job anymore because you definitely shouldn't be in a place of leadership. Not only should you definitely not be in a place of leadership, but you should not be working at that post office. You shouldn't be working with any situation dealing with people who are not your race, according to the United States, because of how you act. So, at the end of the day, Mr. Greg Jenkins, I just want you to know what type of situation you was about to cause. What type of detriment you was about to cause my family, Mr. Greg Jenkins. And I want an apology. You owe me an apology. Because I ain't come there and try to ruin your world. Mr. Jenkins, Mr. Greg Jenkins. Dang. See, the people at the post office, they can't speak out. Because, see, you're going to have a target on them. But, see, I don't work at the post office, Mr. Greg Jenkins. And you can't stop me from coming there. Guess what? I'm going to continue to come there. And, I, and guess what else? I'm not going to ask no supervisors to come in while I'm there because I don't feel comfortable. Nah, we ain't going to have no issues, Mr. Greg Jenkins. We're not going to have no issues at all. And I'm going to keep coming to this post office. But I'm speaking out for the people that work there at that post office. I can only imagine if I work there and, and you're my superior and I got to work under you. I'm coming home every day talking about I'm tired of biting the bullet and being quiet and not saying anything and being disrespected every single day by this man that, that supervised me, Mr. Greg Jenkins. I couldn't imagine that. I wouldn't actually be in that situation. And unfortunately, you would end up winning. And that's not fair to the people that work there at that establishment. Those people deserve to be treated with respect, not disrespect by you, Mr. Greg Jenkins. I need a, I need a phone call or something from the post office. I need some accountability and ownership taken for your situation, Mr. Greg Jenkins. That's what I need. I'll be waiting. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Cause Mr. Greg Jenkins, guess what? You're going to be held accountable for your actions, sir. For your racism and your bigotry, sir. Yeah.